time to get started. All right, once again, I'm Alex Dudek with Cam Logic, and this is Tech Tuesdays. Today we're going to be going over an introduction to product manufacturing information, which is PMI, and that is in Annex CAD as well. I'm Alex, Cam Logic. I'm a, an application engineer. Got my degree over at GMI, also known as Kettering in Michigan. So, just a good old boy from from Michigan here. Let's get going. All right, and more about Cam Logic. Founded in 1996. Uh, face of the company, we've got Jim Carlisle. Not sure if any of you guys know him, but good guy. We're headquartered in Oxford, Michigan, north of Detroit. We serve Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Indiana. Uh, some of our products include, uh, of course, the full package of Siemens PLM software from NX to Solid Edge, BMAP, and Team Center. Uh, so we cover, you know, CAD CAM analysis software, FEA, CAE. Uh, and then we also have a data management side for P PDM, PLM. And then we also cover reverse engineering, rapid prototyping, and 3D laser scanning and printing. So uh, that's some of our products. And I'll just go over this real quick. We've been a channel partner with Siemens for 15 years, and which means we've, we've been selling for Siemens for a while now. Uh, we also, like I said, 3D printing, scanning, uh, rapid prototyping. And we're not just a partner with Siemens per se, we're a partner with our customers. We want to have meaningful and good quality relationships so that we can offer you the best support possible. All right, <clears throat> getting into PMI. Uh, quick outline what it is and what is PMI. Then I'll go through a demo uh, of how to get into it. Then next, PMI capabilities and considerations and another demo with other features of PMI, uh, how PMI will benefit your processes, some notes and some best practices, and also another demo just to wrap up, and also other wrap up. Okay, what is PMI? It is product manufacturing information. And essentially, I, I think of it as a 3D approach to annotation. And I mean, it's been a long time coming. They said it was going to come out and be like the biggest thing, but uh, why now? I think it's just because there's a lot of product-based manufacturing and just the way that you interact with customers or, uh, you know, suppliers. It really adds a lot of, you know, visibility to your, to your models. Uh, I believe it's a value-added process. I can't tell you whether it's going to add value to your process, but you can only hope, right? <laughs> uh, and essentially, it's not just like it's not just a dead dimension. It actually associates in NX to your features. So it's it's a living, breathing dimension just the same as uh, as any other dimension you put in while you're you know setting up the model it, it connects right to the actual dimensions geometrically um, and association is it's key I think it I think it helps a lot so demo one we're going to go to next and yeah, this is actually demo two okay demo one pretty simple part uh, Shelled out, not going to worry about that. And let's see. So, PMI, here's where we start. You go to uh, the start thing right here, and there will be, if you have PMI, there will be a little check mark. Check that, and then you also have a menu up, uh, up top for PMI. And then also there is toolbar for PMI you can set up. It usually pops up when you, when you set up PMI. I'm just going to leave it right here for now so it's visible. Um, several different options, and as you can see here, you can you have all sorts of dimensions, uh, notes, you do sectioning, balloon symbols, weld symbols, surface range, so some G D T as well. Uh, I'll start out with a simple dimension, bird, and uh, just to mention my first point. Right now, it's aligned to an annotation plane, but generally, if you don't have it aligned and set up to orient to you know your your CSIS or your your work uh, system your uh, X Y and Z then you 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 know you could get a dimension that pops out in any direction so this one's aligned properly and you know it's oriented to the face so I have you know just a dimension that pops off off of there uh, let's see let's put another one in for right now so those are oriented to the X Y and Z right now so those are taking care of business as they should. Let's see. 
Okay. Oh, and sorry, you can also do ordinate dimensions. I like that. Uh, so you can do ordinate and take it relative to you know this this corner point. So you can get the height. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted, but that's okay. Just set it right there and the width. So you can do ordinate right off the corner. Simple as, as pi, no doubt. All right. So that concludes the first section of that. All right, and back to the slideshow. I'm losing my place here. Okay. All right, and then going into PMI capabilities. Uh, essentially, it's annotation that carries through the modeling to drafting and CAM CMM. So <clears throat> you you use it once, you dimension once, and then you have it carrying through for the rest of the time that you're you know using that model or assembly. So you don't have to recreate dimensions. You don't have to worry about what it was in the past. It'll it'll pop up. You can drag it over from modeling to drafting. You can pull it from drafting to modeling too. Uh, and you can use it for J, uh, JT visual reporting. So it's it's nice for that because you're going to use you know 3D views. You're going to you know possibly share that with a customer or supplier. It gives you good visibility of your dimensions right on that uh, JT report. And like I said, it's bidirectional. So you could you could make the dimensions in drafting and then they update the model, or you do it in the model and update updates the draft. You just have to uh, you know update the view uh, in that drafting view. And some other things that are benefits of using PMI. You've got the drafting coordinates like a uh, like I mentioned, you have coordinate in geometric dimensions, and then you can also use it for other parts of annotation like center marks, uh, center lines, and add notes and also section views. Uh, to the right, you'll see a section view. We'll check that one out in a little bit, actually. But uh, on the demo two, okay, next demo. All right, this one's already annotated to uh, a pretty good extent. And as you'll see, I'll just go through real quick. If you look over in the part navigator right here, I'll expand it so you can see it a little better. You've got all the PMI dimensions here, so they're all. As I click, you can see them highlight in the view of the part. And I don't have any, oh, the, yeah. Another thing about PMI is you can set PMI just to be seen in one view, or, you know, this view doesn't show PMI. It doesn't, it can be can be used in this view, but uh, these views are specifically for PMI, but it can apply to the entire model and not just those views. It, it just depends on your preference. Uh, so, let's see, what else can we do for this one? Ah, we can do the center marks. That's pretty cool. Just kind of add it in there. Symbol. Ah, center marks. Um, center mark of this. Center mark of this one. Oop. I'll do that real quick. I want to take the holes on the outside. And they also link together with the center mark. So it's, it's smart dimensioning too. Uh, has all the same benefits essentially as dimensioning and drafting or you know, dimensioning as you as you make a model. Just puts it in three dimensions. Let's see. Okay. So that's a view of that. We'll come back to this model in a second. Okay. Uh, so added benefits of PMI, you can streamline your dimensioning so you don't have as many overlapping. You know, you dimension it modeling, then you dimension it in drafting. Maybe you don't have the same dimension. Maybe you maybe you pick the wrong point. Uh, and it saves you time because you can reuse these same dimensions without having to recreate them. One dimension carries all the way through into, you know, maybe you're going to do CAM in the end. You want, you know, the same dimensions to line up. Uh, again, you can use it for JT reports, visibility, adds depth to your dimensions. And I mean, don't let me limit you to what you want to do with PMI. It'll help your process as much as you can, you know, use it to the extent of it, just the same as you would uh, with regular dimensioning. And quickly, I'll mention these best practices. Uh, think minimalist because, as you saw in the window, uh, in the part navigator, all the PMI shows up there. So, you know, try to keep it relatively light. You don't want to have too much junk there. It's supposed to be pretty clean, uh, visible, and so. In order to to do that, you want to have your standards and policies in place just as you would with dimensioning so that everybody's consistent, has the same roles. Uh, you want 
customers, suppliers, everybody to see that everything's the same. You want to have you know good consistency with your reports. So your internal guidelines are a good thing to establish, just like just like with dimensions. Um, and this doesn't mean you have to go paperless, but you know there's a progression towards paperless, and it just makes sense. You use something like a you know JT report. It's just a very nice representation over the you know it's a very visual representation. And also you can in reuse and inherit. I didn't go over inherit yet. I'll uh, do that right now. Oops, I'll go back. Okay, so with this, you can take all these dimensions and use them, translate them essentially to your drafting view. So, let's see, do I have anything there yet? No, I don't. That's okay. I have my base view, uh, and I picked the one that is specified for PMI. And that's a small scale, so we'll put it up. So, as you see, right now we don't have the PMI on there, so what you would have to do is... You can either double click or right click. Uh, I'll right click for those that don't double click. Uh, style, and that's your view style. You go to the tab that says inherit PMI, click that, and then you go aligned to drawing in this view because this view has actually got the PMI attached to it. So that should, uh, and then click the inherit PMI into drawing, of course. You click it, apply it, and it doesn't show up. So we're going to go do aligned to drawing. And it's doesn't show up. All right, perfect. Let me uh, pick a different view. I know these other views are, are good for this. Just the back view is pretty open. Okay. So back view. Double click. Inherit PMI and then line to drawing. Ah, so PMI shows up. This uh, this PMI actually shows up from a different view than we were just looking at. Flip back, flip back to that really quickly. Not this one, probably this one. But uh, what's cool about the PMI too is it, it'll flip, you know, automatically for you. So no matter which orientation you have in the view, you can still see it very clearly. And just to show, uh, yeah, the dimensions change between the drawings. You know, the tolerance here has zero decimal places. We change it to two, and uh, it's updated automatically in drafting to be oh hit that update the, the drawing too so yeah right here you got to show up with the decimal places as as changed in the drawing what else have we got all right I think that's a good good start all right once again we're cam logic and we also offer on-site training in a classroom environment, if you'd like, or you know, on-site or in a classroom environment. So it's here, there, your place or ours, and it's also customizable to what you know your your process is what you're looking for out of learning CAD, CAM, CAD. Uh, we also have classes for Solid Edge, and here are upcoming webinars. I'll be doing on May 17th and explaining tips, tricks, and techniques. So a bunch of different things, you know, just to save you time, lean, lean out your CAD processes a little bit, you know, just a trick here or there. Uh, May 24th with Dale will be a solid edge webinar about working in multi-CAD. And then 31st will be with Wendy, an introduction to solid edge insight. Uh, you can also see our replays on YouTube. We'll usually have that updated within a day. So, you know, if you want to look at a prior webinar, our Tech Tuesday, then it'll be up on YouTube. This one will be up on YouTube as well. And, you know, just thanks for joining us. It's, again, we're in Oxford. I'm Alex, and I support NX and just general Siemens PLM products. So if there's anything you need, uh, feel free to contact me directly. If you have any questions about PMI or this presentation or anything with NX, please feel free to send me an email or give me a call. And our office number is located over on the left too, so that's good. Uh, we're on LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, and Blogger. So if you want to find any other information or see what's up with the Cam Logic, then just let us know. Or uh, check out the sites. Thanks. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for stopping by.
Alec, can you hear me? Well, I don't know. Marcus, would how come? What's up? Got a couple questions there, Alex. Take a look at the question chart real quick. Uh, 